Before a y-axis move can be used, the spindle must be stopped. The c-axis positions the spindle to a particular angle. Then the milling tool is moved in y to mill a flat on the part. You can see the angle at which the milling tool is moving. Since it moves past the spindle centerline, the tool moves between minus and plus coordinate values of the y-axis during the cut. Mazak Integrex Addendum The Mazak Integrex machine has a coordinate grid that is more like a machining center than a lathe. On vertical machining centers, the vertical up and down movement of the tool spindle is controlled by the z-axis. The movement back and forth is controlled by the x-axis. With this milling tool in the tool spindle position vertically, up and down is the z-axis of movement, and the left and right movement is the x-axis. However, on this model Integrex, the tool spindle can rotate to perform machining on both the main and sub-spindle. This rotation is controlled by the B-axis. This allows the tool spindle to rotate through 180 degrees. With the tool pointing to the left, the spindle is at 0 degrees in the B-axis. When the tool points straight down, it is at 90 degrees in B. With the tool pointing to the right, it is at 180 degrees in B. The direction of each axis depends on the type of tool in the tool spindle. With this turning tool mounted and the B axis at 0 degrees, the X plus direction is up and X minus is down. The Z plus direction is away from the spindle and Z minus is toward the spindle. With the B axis at 90 degrees, you see that the axis directions remain the same. If a milling tool is in the tool head, as the tool spindle rotates, the coordinate grid rotates with it. Therefore, as the spindle is positioned at 0 degrees in B, the X plus direction is up and X minus is down. The Z plus direction is away from the spindle and Z minus is toward the spindle.